and the Adobe app for iOS. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It ain't what it used to be. It's the name of my book. Y E P comma Y E P comma Y E P. Oh yeah. It ain't what it used right. to be. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> It ain't Colon, what it used. It ain't to be. what it used to be. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. So that's that, and then that's the second one. That's the sequel. Mm-hmm. I like it. Time to switch to decaf. That's the third one. Mm, mm. I think we can do better. That can be like a working title. Mm. Hey. Time to switch to decaf. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Decaf tea? No. <sighs> tea never is tea. already bad enough. Never tea. Never tea. Hashtag never tea. Coffee, man. Coffee. I'm from Seattle. I have to drink coffee. It's in our um, contract. The contract you get when you're bored. They stamp your little foot on it. Mm -hmm. They give you a Starbucks logo right on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> and then and then Amazon pushes you out of the factory. <laughs> uh, so, distributed by Costco. Uh, well, packaged by Costco and then distributed by UPS. That All this stuff's from up there. UPS too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, put onto Boeing planes. Uh, did you... Did you see that Jones Soda is coming out with Mary, Mary a weed brand? Oh, mm -hmm. that's a Seattle also thing Seattle. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All kinds of stuff that you guys like from up there. Mm -hmm. Not tea though. Mm -mm. No, they drink tea there. No, no. Starbucks coffee and tea. Ah. Uh. I don't know which one I'm more freaked out by drinking strained ground up beans or drinking strained ground up leaves. How about the, how about the new mushrooms too? Well, I mean, there's those mushrooms and like that kind of mushroom tea, but then also like there's the coffee replacement that is just mushrooms. You know? Oh yeah. That? Yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. And then you drizzle some olive oil in it. <laughs> A little parmesan delicious <laughs> starbucks is new lasagnano it's the brett davern show on adobe radio brought to you in partnership with nice guy digital hey come on into starbucks we got a new lasagnano coffee gross <laughs> we top it with parmesan Ugh. Huh? Yeah, it's like Italian or something. I can't do it. Come on in. We're Starbucks. It. We can get a grande. <laughs> and a venti. And a trenta. They do that? It's oh. It's the super big. Oh. It's the super gold. From your barista. And they made up all those words too, right? Wasn't they, didn't they like sort of bastardize and make up? I mean, venti Italian? just means 20. And it's a 20 ounce cup. So it just means 20. I know. Let's get to the guy who knows. Welcome. Brett Dabber. Listen up, everybody. Out there ordering your quad shot 20. Frappuccino. Oh, yes. They call this one a frappuccino. It's imported from that's, Italy. But that's a word they made up. Mmm. Italians drink frappuccinos every morning with their bagels and cream cheese. I've been to Rome. <laughs> I have. I've been to Rome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every Italian there eating a Starbucks breakfast every morning. <laughs> Real, it's it's when you see the tortilla wraps, the little <laughs> breakfast burritos. They're walking down the street going, ciao. My favorite is and the they, weird like, shake the burrito in your direction. The weird gelatinous eggs oh, that just oh, sort of oh. are just they're, they're just like the a little bites. jiggly egg. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, 
that's mm, delicious. Just like mom used to make. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Would you like a milkshake and an egg pod this morning? <laughs> no, thank you, sir. Not when you say it like that. Would you like your bean liquid whipped into a milkshake this morning? I mean, that's, that sounds better, more appealing than an egg pod and mm. a milkshake. Mm. Delicious. Hey, what's up, Instagram Live? Thanks for joining the show this morning, live on the internet, internet, internet. On Thursdays, we go live on Instagram. You guys can follow along. We might even try to play a game for, oh, no, ask Abby this morning. I thought we could ask no people game to send the in their, what they need advice on. There you go. Now that's a game for the listeners. You guys got advice uh, that you need? Hmm? You got problems that you need advice there for? We go. Is that how to say it? Mm-hmm. You got a, a problem with your family? Those were my specialty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, text in now or throughout the show and Carly will read your problems uh, and, and or give them to Katie and Katie will read your problems and then I'll tell you to get over it. Or, I mean, sorry, what to do about it. It's advice day on the Brett Davern show. I look so red up in that one. Is that a filter? No. It's all you. <laughs> it's all that baseball sun you get. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is the main. If you're listening on Adobe Radio, turn them up. We'll be right back with some news. If you're on Instagram Live, well, hang out during the commercial break, and then we'll be right back. It's the Brett Davern Show on Adobe Radio. It's the Brett Davern Show on Adobe Radio. It's time to do the news on the show. Katie does the news. So Spotify has just launched this cool feature. It's called... I'll be the judge of that. Jam. Hold on, hold, hold on a second. Let's see if it's cool or not. It's okay. cool to me. Okay. All right. One vote for cool. One vote. Already in. It's called Jam. We'll see what Carly thinks. There's no more days of controlling the ox. You know, she's like 32 years younger than us. So if she says it's cool, then it's actually cool. So actually she gets two votes. Oh my God. I thought you were going to say I was 32. That's so old. (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Wow. I was like, I'm not 32. So Jam is a real-time collaborative playlist controlled by up to 32 people. Real time collaborative playlist controlled by up to 32 people. So Real if everybody's time. on the same Wi Fi. Uh huh. That's the caveat here. Oh, like you and your friends at the at the house, the backyard having pool a party. Pool. Right. Got exactly. You. Okay. I like it. I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. You have more details? Um, I, I do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm going to need some more details then okay, because yeah. I might've found a loophole. That's not so cool. Um, <laughs> I thought about it for about uh-huh. 0.2 seconds. I was like, Oh, that's awesome. Uh Oh, but what about, but now we'll see what happens. Go ahead. As people add to the shared queue, you see their profile of who added that song. So you can't beh- hide behind a bad song. Yeah. <gasps> but if you pick a banger, then you get to shine. Mm, too right, risky. right, sure, okay. The 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 younger kids are gonna have a problem with this. Too too much risk involved as, socially. As the jams <laughs> host, it's just far too much on the line. <laughs> there's there's one person who is deemed as. How will I ever get over picking that one song that one time that people thought wasn't cool? Has that ever I've never had you? that problem because it happened to me one time, that cool. and I wanted to dissolve into the floor. <laughs> so it's real and yet somehow you still manage to live that's true i guess yeah. um so if you're the jam host mm-hmm. which i really feel like you should be like the jam sesh leader yeah like that's really what they should be one of the hosts mm. uh so you can determine who's in the jam you you're can the mama, change mama jamma. the order oh i like that i like that you can change the order of the tracks or you can remove songs that you don't want played 
now this is getting too di- okay. dictatorial. Well, like, come on. Eventually, they hope to add. I thought we were jamming here, man. What's with all the rules? Eventually, they hope to add like an upvote, sort of like Reddit. So if everybody at the party is like, I really like that song, then they everybody can like contribute to how much they like that song. Vote it up and it'll get played next. Okay, or so if, like, somebody I was puts on no, Baby Shark, uh, we can downvote that. Uh, song. No, okay. even bangers, you get one, hmm. and then you gotta give it like an hour. Yeah, or two. Just put a little time thing on whose song goes next. I actually don't like this at all anymore. Too much involved. Too many rules. Too much. We're gonna vote people up and down. Too much. There's a score well, they don't involved. Have that yet, but too yeah. much. Like we're trying to keep people onto the Spotify app. Now I'm smelling the engineers behind the scenes <laughs> and the marketing department behind the scenes. At first, it was like, hey. Bring your friends over. You're having a party. Everyone gets to chip in. This I like. Love it. Love it. On the surface. Algorithm. Now it's just Blech. like, yeah, get get out of here. You're just like every other social media. <laughs> like, oh, guess you're gonna watch. You're gonna see this on on like Good Morning America or some out of touch, right? Some out of touch conversation. They'll go, Spotify is a social media now. Well, it already is. No, I know. <laughs> stop. 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 Oof, stop. Oof. Just Look, that was kind of cool when you first mentioned it. And then it's funny because the point two seconds where I realized it wasn't cool was the part about all your friends getting involved. Mm. That's what I thought mm. was like, awesome. Oh, no, that's 30 of my friends in 2023 at a party trying to agree on anything. And then I have the power to skip it. So then insert that three or four friends that from the corner of the party are constantly going like, dude, 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 skip this one, bro. Skip it. Like just, just mm. enough. No, no. I bet we could all put our heads together and come up with a cooler way to do that almost same thing though, which is like you send out the invite list to the party. People can start loading it in advance. There is some sort of algorithm that helps out like Carly Ooh. suggested where it's like your, your song, like more of like a jukebox style uh, just, mode at a bar where like your song comes up in the order. Yeah. But it, but someone can't just block like, out 10 songs in a row. Like, so we'll figure that they out. Can't a jukebox, I don't like they? the ranking yeah, though. But that's, like, you're a jerk if you do that at the bar. Don't do like, that. Oh, everyone liked that. Oh, everyone thumbs up this song. Like instead of hanging out, they're like, that's a good song. Yeah, and no. like thumbs it up or thumbs it. Like Mm-mm. just listen to the music. Listen yeah. to the music. Yeah. Yeah. Let it be sort of equally uh added to let the algorithm let the actual algorithm take over if we've forgotten if the party's going so good that we keep forgetting it will to do add. that no it will do that so, too. okay that's good and it then. takes into account everybody's taste who like contributed to it oh, thus far gosh uh-huh. how are we so supposed to listen again? to anything new yeah well, and, by, and then also this, you are gonna have that you. friend who adds I the joke so. song how do we make sure to not oh, have the, the joke, joke song, song. You know what I want as far as technology goes for music at parties? I want them to figure out how they can make it so that whoever's phone is Bluetooth to the thing. I want them to make it so that person can go outside and have a smoke without the whole... Uh And you're like, where did Jordan go? Get back here! The music sucks! It's like, he's going to go get Stacy. We'll be right back. Oh, it's the worst. He had to go get the elevator. uh, They need the love thing to get into the garage. (laughs) She's the fob. fob, Oh, yeah. He said she could use the parking space. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He he told me that a while ago. Oh, whatever. Yeah, all right. All good. What else, Katie? What what do you got? There's a death in the movie industry tomorrow, Brett. Uh Uh-oh. The final and only facility that is left that Netflix distributes the red envelope of DVD <laughs> in. Yeah. The warehouse is shutting on Friday. Oh. It is no more. They Netflix announced. will not mail you anything. Yeah, and they also, and Netflix also Except said that if you have the DVDs, they don't care. Keep them. Really? Mm-hmm. Funny. They put that out there. They're like, we're just gonna fill a landfill. Yeah. You might as well fill a landfill. Well, they get to write Nobody it off their taxes anymore. too. Be like, oh, it was a business loss. <laughs> loss. Oh, oh no! Probably gonna, probably gonna claim that we all stole it and come we after lost us. Lost our DVDs. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> the warehouse went up in flames. Yeah. Bummer. Well, end of an era. There you go. It's funny too. It talks about this article. Talks about how many people used to work at this site and like. Yeah. I mean, like, wow. really, it's kind of like a. 
they frame it as as if it's almost like a like even like a haunted house like an abandoned Ooh. facility that is enormous with only like 12 employees that are currently there and well yeah uh, tens and then, of um, how many people were right signed up for the dvd thing way back in the day like tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of you imagine there has to be a whole sorting process well and- yeah that's what it's talking it has this like s- precision of swish swiss engineers i want to see the machines. list from netflix of how many specifically like the actual quantity of dvds of each movie they had to buy like how many copies of american pie Bandcamp does netflix own you know what I mean? Right. Like if you had to guess, how many copies do you think they actually have? I mean, or of like thousand. a popular movie. Like how many, how many The Godfathers did Netflix own? DVDs? Or 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 movies that like had big releases and let, like had a big splash and then mm-hmm. nobody cares about at all totally. anymore. I have three copies of Close Encounters of the Third Kind just on my own. So they've got to have like 10,000 of them. Yeah. Or more. It's got to be more. No, less. I don't know. Can you imagine trying to figure out that business at the beginning? Mm-mm. <sighs> now they own all of our souls. Now it makes sense. They just click a button. They go, there you go. Um, Jaws is on the main page. There you go. Have at it. Yeah. Can you imagine trying to figure right. out how the many people want copy. to rent it <laughs> all over the country? At well, and then you'd have like waiting. You'd have to wait for the oh, one. That's but then, right. Well, that's why I was you in your queue. That's it in your right. queue. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The queue. That's right. But then you could pay extra to like get it right now, eventually. What right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that wow, what a time to be alive, man. Yeah. Yeah. What was the DVD you always had forever from Netflix that you didn't ever return? Everybody always had that one that was laying on their entry table for too long that they mm-hmm. never returned. Which was yours? Mm. Hocus pocus. <laughs> Aww. Tis the season. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That's funny. That's a funny answer. Do you guys remember how like Netflix or Blockbuster, like if you kept it long enough, they'd be like, we're just going to charge you. And they would charge you like $200. (laughs) Oh, I thought they just charged you for, oh, in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like 40 bucks for a movie or something. Where like, if my mom didn't want to buy a video game for me and my brothers, Mm -hmm. we'd be like, totally fine, mom. We get it. We get it. And then we would just get it at Blockbuster and like hide it. (laughs) Just forget (laughs) to return it. Eventually, they just charged unquote. her like the 15 bucks. That's yeah, funny. funny. We're That's like, it's funny. ours now. So we have a few Blockbuster like That's cases. Funny. Renting video house. games from Blockbuster became my jam for sure. More than movies. Hmm. Yeah. Towards the and end. And then especially. that uh, Gamefly came out. Oh, yeah. Gamefly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a Game Shark. That Whoa. was the one where you could cheat at the video games. You could plug that in. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was your movie that you never returned? Uh, a Thin Red Line. Because you never watched it? Nobody's actually movie. ever seen that a movie. War movie. It's a war movie. Is that true, Brad? This is the actual. No, it is. That's yes. a real movie. The- no, but no, that you knows. were like this. That's, is- no, that was the DVD. Yeah, that was the one. I can, wow. I, I can close my eyes and see it laying there in all its Netflix. Like it was the, the, red the back of it, not the front of it, the back of it with the with the seal on it where it gave a brief description of the movie in the weird like yeah, yeah, computer yeah. type you know yeah. i can invi- i can vi- visualize that thin red line laying there for well over a year and i still haven't even seen the movie no one has <laughs> you're no, you making that joke but i really have it still i still haven't watched it one of our friends on live uh moonlit dreams is uh-huh. her username it's uh-huh. very nice yeah uh she had matilda matilda nice. classic nice. that's a like, great that's movie. a good choice nice yeah yeah that is a good one hmm. oh, that's a, that movie's old now mm-hmm. i remember when that movie came out what the heck yeah we're old <laughs> well <laughs> you are rude this song's called hellbound it just has a slow opening there it is that took like 13 seconds to that be able to hear one. that song if we were playing spit it out there larry that would be Oh yeah, that'd be brutal. You'd be done so. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. On the other side of the break, it's time for to dole out some advice. Yes. So Katie is armed with real life Dear Abby columns that people have written. We'll see how close I get to her actual advice in our segment, Ask Gabby. But also, if you guys have issues, problems, conundrums, paradoxes, 
or anything in between. Quandaries? No. Corals? Rubicons to cross. <laughs> Corals. Let me know. I'll tell you. I'll lay you a roadmap. It's the Brett Davern Show on it over radio. Turn it up! You know what I'm saying? She's out here trying to get clicks. I'm trying to win games. I know what you're saying. It's my new line. It's from college football this last weekend, but you can use it for like anything. <laughs> I don't like it. I did, I did. I don't like it. That, that was what the Oregon coach said about Dion. I don't like it. Yeah. So I'm trying to take it back and I'm just trying to use it for other things in life and make it your own. Yeah. It just means like they're not really here for the, you know, well, they're not you here get for it. the right reasons. You get it. The right reasons. You get what are it. the right reasons trying to win the game? Uh, no, that's a longer conversation. No, there's plenty more to than just winning the game for sure. Okay. Yeah. So um, like so much more having the guts to actually cut your hair. Sorry, so much more to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for Ask Gabby. Unless anyone needs some advice out there in real world land from Instagram Live, they're shy. Katie, what do you got? Ask Gabby, dear Abby, when our son went to college years ago, so this is a real one, he traveled, yeah. All summer with a school-sponsored missionary singing group. Oh. The members were all smart, attractive, talented young men and women. A hello, group. Oh. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. My name is Elder Price. We're all a singing missionary group. Uh-huh. And we would like to tour around the country and sing some of these songs to you. I don't think, I don't think they're obvious. Uh, I stopped going to his concerts because my husband, their son, I stopped going to my son's concerts because my husband became attracted to one of the young women. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? Is this the plot of Mr. Holland's opus? <laughs> <laughs> that Richard Dreyfus movie? Well, that's a deep cut right With there. With a really weirdly problematic moment. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Ooh, okay. You to keep going. I'm listening. Please. Wait. How old again? Whoa. What's going on? College. Yeah. Remind me the missionary. Ages. Okay. Wait, what's happening? Okay. So it's. <laughs> I was joking around making fun of it. Now yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, I need yeah. to now listen. Now I need the details. All actually. right. Go ahead. When our son went to college, college. years ago, he okay. traveled all summer with a school-sponsored missionary singing group. Pause. It says years ago. If it turns out that this husband is now married to this former college, <gasps> or like just put still that talking in the back to her, of it. It says years ago. Her. That's what I'm saying. <gasps> Uh -oh. The Watch members out. were all smart, attractive, talented young men and women, a group of four. Well, let's not overdo She's it. Really here. They're it all on. college students. They're a bunch of idiots. It's because she can't be like, got one pretty bleep. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped. These little floozies. <laughs> okay, okay. I stopped going to his concerts because my husband became attracted to one of the young women. Wow. She was very outgoing oh. and annoying. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like a soprano to me. So I didn't mind letting my That's so theater core. I feel so seen right now, Brett. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Dude, I get it. I used to sit next to the altos. I'd rather rock with the altos all day than the sopranos. Tenor? A tenor for That's sure. Right. I mean, tenors and altos have this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. right, yeah. <laughs> so uh, after she says she's annoying, the lady says, I didn't mind letting my husband go alone. To the concerts. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Wait, this seems like a bad plan. You're, it seems like, like you're going in reverse you there, go, Will Robinson. I won't be there. Yeah. After they all graduated, I thought I'd never see her again. Oh, no. I told you. I told oh. you. I told you. Now, all these years later. Oh, no. They're married with three kids. She's a missionary, and the church sure we at attend... <laughs> You know what I mean? Is sponsoring her. So I ha I've i had to see her once and I'll probably have to see her again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more. Oh my goodness. I know to keep quiet about it because my husband says he doesn't want to hear it. Oh. Keep quiet about what? Did anything happen? I'm or does he just confused. go sit in the audience like weird, weird stalkery creeper style? I don't honestly think his thoughts are inappropriate. I just think... He's not aware of how obviously attracted he is to this young woman. I don't act that way towards other men, even if they are attractive. Maybe especially if they're attractive. I wonder if other women experience this and how do they cope? 
Whoa, 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 I don't even like her that much. Like, I don't know what the big deal is, but I don't like that. He's like, I don't want to hear it. Like, let's not know, talk weird... about it. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever you're talking about, let's not talk. About He's it. like, Hey, do you remember that uh, college student that I said was super cute? And I ke- wanted to keep going to her concerts. Even after you stopped going, you remember that? No, he was went, going for his son. I, 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 I don't totally. actually like, 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 no, her. like, she's just like, super no, nice to like, be around. And she's, she's like really pretty. And like, maybe you should do her hair, yeah. her, her hair, how she does her hair. And like, totally. Smells and then, really good. Like, maybe if you could just like put on this, dress and, and then if we um where did he get her dress here's her college where sweater her dress? I, I found this sweater it has the college's letters oh written right on it if you can Here, just put this on her hair in the closet. for one moment <laughs> like, <laughs> no, dude, like gabby should be saying or abby whatever her name is okay here we go here we go <clears throat> catch a predator uh-uh. dear american not uh beauty this is getting <laughs> creepy. Uh, perhaps you've seen, uh, perhaps you've seen the Kevin Spacey movie one too many times, or you're because now you're writing fan fiction for it in yeah, your own see, life. That's like, the problem. have She's you ever seen this so movie? Stories. Okay, listen. Um, bro, like, what? Uh, you you guys tell him what to do. Like, her, what? To, get out I mean, of here. I guess it's unclear how real. It, it, like I guess I'm, it's unclear if she's jealous or if this is actually a problem. Because if it were actually right. a problem, why would she keep letting him go? Well, like, of course if he she's was actually jealous. a creep. She's jealous for sure. But then there's then, all the like religious angles to this, where it's like not supposed to say oh, anything. Say anything okay. about what though? Say anything about your husband creepily attending too many concerts? I, having a crush. Having a crush. That's what she's saying. I don't but think he does. He says he does I think it's totally normal to have a this crush, but I think it's weird to like tell the person you're with. This you're is like, weird. By the way, I have a, this crush on this woman who's our son's age. That's also a lot to unpack. That you, Ooh. you know. You know what? You know what? Actually, I scrolled down on Reddit, and what it turns out, there's an addendum to this story. In Iraq. It turns out that the girl in the choir was actually the son's girlfriend the whole time. And they were planning the wife's birthday party. Oh, the whole time. He was just going to meetings for the surprise birthday party. The whole thing was easily explainable. Easily. Yeah. Wait, so what is your advice? How do we give out points here? What's your advice? I nailed it. That's no, don't worry about it because you're going to get a surprise, a surprise birthday, birthday party, party at the end of it. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Denial. I mean, my advice is, is that to, to don't stop going to the concerts. That's like a weird, Isn't that weird. Like you're sort of sacrificing strange, stopped. It's like, yeah. she's just giving up like, all right, that's it. I'm done. It's like, she's sacrificing her own relationship with her son because she's jealous of her husband's crush on somebody who hasn't even acknowledged that he exists. That's why part of me is like, how legit is this crush? Right. Like how, quote unquote inappropriate or upsetting or like you know dude i'm just listening to it and i'm upset by it <laughs> it's very upsetting this is very upsetting it's icky that they were able to like she knows that it's this one girl mm-hmm. that's the part to me that's like this feels true it's not just like oh there was like one girl one time like it's this one specific girl that mm-hmm. we know and she goes to our church and she pops up a lot mr holland's a creeper <laughs> So bad for the girl, honestly. She knows. Mr. Holland needs to put that opus back in his pants. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Abby says, this situation occurs with both husbands and wives. They cope in different ways. Some people make a joke out of it. Some people make a point of accompanying their spouse whenever they know the crush is around. Yeah. Nowhere in your letter did you state that, that this younger woman is attracted to your husband or a threat to your marriage. He is old enough to be her father. <laughs> obviously That's you have hot. talked to him about it. <laughs> wait you mean her daddy gross daddy. Ah. Icky. obviously you have talked to him about it or he wouldn't be telling you that he's sick of hearing it mm. be patient and let the torch subside eventually she will be transferred to another ministry and you will be rid <laughs> of her once again no 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 this is how the catholic church deals with things this seems not, like it right wait it, it out don't do that no no there's, there's not an island for choir sopranos. 
that God, I wish are that are vexing. They can't be stopped. They're, they're they vexing. Can't be stopped. The, they the never leave. Late fifties crowd <laughs> in the audience. Like enough is enough. This young ingenue must move on. I think, and so, so should huh? we all. Yeah. What else you got? Nothing. Oh, music. Oh, okay. We got more people who need advice, but uh, you know, or people that. Yeah. Well, that's good because I have advice to dole out. This is the Young Rising Suns without the the. Young Rising Suns. There it is. <laughs> Song is called Passenger. You can turn it on up. More ass Gabby. Yeah. More ridiculous stories from ridiculous people out there. Turn it on. Radio. All right. Katie's reading advice from the Dear Abby advice column, and we're doling out tidbits. Dear Abby. Mm -hmm. My mother and I are super close. I consider her my best friend. Uh, wait, hold on. I have a sound effect for that. <laughs> oh. My brother, not so much. Oh, no, no. Spicy. He ignores my texts and calls. Mm -mm. And I know of any news about him only via our mom. <laughs> my parents divorced when we were very young. When my father passed recently, he left me a decent sized inheritance and my brother $500. Oh, oh, that's a spite gift. They were estranged. I took the inheritance and the equity in my house, <clears throat> bought a new one, and I need to finance only a small amount to remodel. My mom doesn't understand why I didn't share my inheritance with my brother. And she says that, and says that she doesn't want to talk about it anymore. All these people not wanting to talk about their issues. Come on. That's the problem. I'm excited about my upcoming move and the furniture shopping and the remodeling. And it's killing me that I can't talk to my best friend about it. <laughs> I tried explaining that giving money to my like brother new best friend would be taken out of my loan, which I would have to repay with interest. And she doesn't want to hear it. Mm. Can you give me some advice? I've been with yeah. this not wanting to hear it. Yeah, yeah. right. Come mm. on. The advice is never go into business with your friends or family. That's not mm. what she is. How it, she's not doing that. That's what a, the inheritance is the business part of this whole family thing. This is why it's, don't, it's sticky business and stuff. It's all sticky money, numbers. Yeah. Who left someone who? Mm -hmm. It becomes a business transaction. That's why you don't do business with friends or family. But just, she, how did she avoid this? The way you avoid it is just by making everything even and moving on and then going like this. Guess what? I'm dead. It's even. You guys deal with it. The well, dad effed up a long time ago. He's the a hole. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But that's a different game. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're giving advice. <laughs> well, listen, <clears throat> dear, your dad's an a hole. <laughs> I don't get what's with all these dead people making dramatic situations after they're not here anymore. Mm -hmm. I think we should blame them posthumously when this kind of stuff happens. It's bullshit. Just shake your fist at the sky. Listen, pops. You've already shuffled off and now we're sitting here in your lawyer's office and you made it difficult and you're not even here. Nah, I can't look back at that video screen and yell at you. You know, that thing where they're like, if you're watching this, I'm dead. Yeah. It's like the most frustrating thing ever, mm -hmm. especially when they pull this kind of BS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just make it even and then move on and your family will figure it out later. Now, <clears throat> in regards to the sister, um, it sounds like you're kind of holding the bro down as well, but it also sounds like maybe the bro wasn't so cool at some point because the mom doesn't like him sort of right. Mm -hmm. And no, no, the mom does, but she has no relationship with him with he ignores her calls right, and but, texts. Well, and the brother's the estranged thing. from his sister and his dad. Mm -hmm. I, you know, the mom mom's always going to kind of be there. You know, it's her baby boy. <laughs> Anywho, um, what I'm saying is the brother probably made his own bed a bit. You shouldn't feel bad for getting that money. That's your money. That's your bag. You can do whatever you want with it once it's yours. So just floss in front of the mom. Is that the advice you're looking for? 
Well, if that's the advice that you want to give. <laughs> well, I'm just confused on what they advice they need advice with. How I have money, but I feel guilty spending it and talking about it. Mm-hmm. Then, like, <sighs> my advice to this person is just just shut up for about six months and that's move into I'm your saying. house and wait it all out, and it'll be fine. That's exactly what I said, yeah. Katie. Just wait. shut just shut up for six months. I do have maybe a dumb question, <laughs> exactly mm-hmm. but so because she said the loan, like she'd have to give it out from a loan so basically she used the inheritance to buy a house mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so now if she shared it it would be splitting expensive a mm-hmm. mm. honestly i feel like she's had to make up for the fact that her family's estranged her whole life and she's used to, she didn't do anything wrong but well, she's the only one willing to do something that's what it. i'm that's what yeah, i'm same, saying also is mm-hmm. Uh, look like first of all this is not going back to a place where it's it's getting to the brother at all because the money's gone. It's gone. So already. That's not yeah. what we're, yeah. we're. She's only saying, "Can I talk about yeah, basically extra money?" Even. Yeah, like, basically. So I mean, but I think she only wants to do that because she doesn't want her. She wants to be friends with her brother, mm-hmm. and she thinks if she does this, then he'll be. But he wasn't to begin with. You yeah, know what I mean. Like, he's he was already. already but he's just going to use it as an excuse. This is that thing where sometimes, or maybe it is, maybe it's not. I mean, you guys tell me like, uh, you know, like you move to town to be an actor and then you have friends here who also are trying to be actors. And so you're all trying to be actors mm-hmm. together. But then what will happen is some of those friends work harder than some of those other friends. And we know which ones, but we're kind of not saying anything because they're all fun to hang out with. But then when the ones who work harder or even the ones who don't work harder, if someone in that group gets an agent, but then they feel bad about saying agent. It's like, it, it's that thing where it's like, well, you have one though, and that's okay. You can say it. Yeah. Don't feel weird about saying it. Yeah. Don't hide it from us. We're no. all here trying to get the same thing mm-hmm. and you got it. So you're allowed to say my agent or I had lunch with my agent and no matter how jealous I am, hopefully mm-hmm. I'll get there someday and I'll have to figure it out because I either didn't do the things I need to do right. to get one or one's coming soon or you definitely got lucky, but I'm trying to hang be in cool, there. Be cool, be there. I'll be get there cool, someday. Bro. It's fine. But either way, you can't begrudge the people who have the thing for having the thing. And what a miserable whatever. life that is. It is what it is. Yeah. You're gonna you can't to. spend your whole life just walking around being mad that other people are successful. Like, so, God, get over it. Well, but in this case, so to say your agent to your mom and live your life and yeah. do your thing. It is what yeah. it is. And you know, if any if and anyone, you don't have to call that agent and get your buddy an agency. You don't have to do that. No. No. You don't have to do that. And if anyone gets mad at you, blame it on your dad. <laughs> yeah. Dead dad. That's what I mean, everybody was, else does. It was. Uh, what I think is strange is that, like, was the brother expecting half after being estranged? Like, it's just everyone has no, all these the expectations f- for they didn't do anything. Like Brett said, like, you're not doing anything. Right. The 500 feels like a middle finger. It does. I'm like, oh, would 500 or would zero be yours? Right? Like, what are you going to do with five? You can't even pay rent with $500. I know, right? It feels a bit like a middle finger. <laughs> like, here, I owed this to you one time. It was a know? bet I lost like, one time. Of, yeah. Yeah. He should have, I mean, hopefully he didn't even take The brother? Yeah. I'd go get a little tiny garden shovel. I go out to dad's place now where he lives. I go out to my dad's new place and I dig a little hole right over him. Mm-hmm. And I just stick that five hundo in there and I cover it back up. There you go, old man. You can have it back. It's a waste. It's really a waste of $500. It's a principle. If you do it, just let me know when you do that. Mm-hmm. And then... Um... Yeah, like... Just, just give me donate it or something. Just let me know. Okay, donate it to a charity that he be like against. Super. That's funny. About. I like yeah, that. Yeah, this yeah, is good. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Like some, like yeah, whatever. I mean, he's an old man, so he's set in his ways. You could pick a lot of them. Probably. Oh yeah, yeah. There's something he has a problem yeah, with. Yeah, totally. Like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Anybody who, I'm, if the I'm, leader, I'm going through a list of charities in my head. I'm just, yeah. Oh, sorry, what, Katie? If the leader of that charity has blue hair, definitely good. For sure. Good to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If they're marching about something, well, Anything. careful. Not, watch out. Not about anything. Uh, that was the show today, everybody. Be kind and donate to each other. 
for Carly and Katie. Brett. Good night. Instagram live. Good night, people that need advice. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. We will see you on Friday. That's it for the Brett Davern Show for today. But don't worry. They'll be back tomorrow, live, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, on Adobe Radio.